underground bunk car, the proprietor. We're halfway through a four day break in the trial. I gotta make sure you guys are still out there. Uh, broadcasting to you today from the Korean Friendship Bell down by San Pedro in Palos Verdes. Beautiful spot. I'm on another one of my long, pointless bike rides. You know, whatever. But uh, I just want to check in with you. Um, there's been some really interesting questions and comments about the trial so far. The Danny Maston trial that we've been covering. And um, I saw The Guardian did an interesting piece where they quoted me um, talking about how important this trial is in Scientology history. And I thought I'd put that in a little more context. A decade ago, 10 years ago, I was in San Antonio, Texas, when Scientology had sued Debbie Cook. And... Uh, she had been the captain of the Flag Land Base. She had been put in the hole. She left Scientology, but she left the Sea Org, but she was still in Scientology. And she sent out an email that was distributed to thousands of Scientologists saying that, the, that Scientology was going in the wrong direction because of David Miscavige. She didn't, and she used L. Ron Hubbard's own words to criticize Miscavige. It was a killer email. I've talked to so many people that have left Scientology because that email helped them think about things. Anyway, you know, David Miscavige couldn't let that go. So they sued her, and they told this San Antonio court, they sued in San Antonio, because that's where she was living at the time, that because of contracts she'd signed, she was facing millions of dollars in liabilities because every single copy of every email that went out had a penalty of like $20,000 each or something crazy. Uh, so she hired this great attorney. His name's Ray Jeffrey down there in the San Antonio area. And um, he was the one that explained to me about the liability thing. And this was a serious, serious matter. So what did he do? He put her on the stand uh, asking for a temporary injunction. And she, she testified maybe an hour or two. I can't remember exactly now. It's been 10 years. But she testified to what it was like to be in the hole and the horrible conditions and the things that were done to her and said to her. At one point, they made her stand in a trash bucket with a sign lesbian around her neck and poured cold water on her. And while she's saying this on, in court on the stand, of course, there are various reporters from different newspapers there reporting everything. And let me tell you, the things that she was saying were not necessarily things we hadn't heard before. But when you do it in court, and the press is watching, and it's being put out, and it's an official record, it's a different level. It's a different thing. And David Miscavige freaked out. They not only threw in the towel... They paid her to end their lawsuit. See, people always, for so long there was so much confusion. People were saying, why didn't she keep going? Why didn't she pursue it? It wasn't her lawsuit. They sued her and then paid her to end their lawsuit. That's how freaked out David Miscavige was for a couple of hours of testimony about what it's really like in Scientology and the news media reporting that. Well, now, look at this trial we're going through now. Day, what, seven days now of testimony soaked with Scientology. And these women revealing how people are treated who are rape victims, made to feel that they are the, at fault for being victimized. About how Jane Doe 3 was told her job was to provide sex to Danny Masterson. About how they couldn't use the word rape about how Danny had protection because he was an upstat celebrity. We've heard these things before, but to be said in court on the record with the media reporting every word, and there has been good coverage of this case. I see some people complaining because it's not showing up in their feed or whatever. Hey, look, I'm sitting in the back row there with ABC, NBC, 
the wrap insider variety deadline they're all there with me and they're all doing great stories there's been hundreds of stories already about this trial so when i hear people say i i haven't seen any media do they not know how to enter the name danny masterson in a search engine anyway it's been quite an experience and lots more to come and i just think about that that if Debbie Cook on the stand for an hour or two caused this much trouble for David Miscavige. I'm still amazed that Miscavige somehow didn't convince Danny to head off this thing with a plea. Because it's going to get even worse. When Lisa Marie is on the stand, do you know how much press is going to be covering every word she has to say? Wow. So, anyway... We've had this nice long break. Things start again on Wednesday. I'll be doing reports from court. I've gotten great responses from everybody. I really appreciate the things you said about those detailed transcript-like reports. I'm doing my best to get everything going on in court. You know, I know people are frustrated it's not being televised, but it's the next best thing, right? You sign up for TonyOrtega.substack.com. You get my report from the courthouse. We've got a lot more coming Wednesday. And I appreciate all the support I get from you at the Substack. So, hey, happy Halloween. Have a fun night with the little ones tonight. And we'll see you in court in a couple of days. Thank you.